An election day went smoothly in Ohio, even amid a pandemic. Our Mark Namick explains why Ohio's results were tallied so quickly and what experts say needs to change elsewhere to keep the nation from waiting. A record 5.8 million ballots cast in Ohio and a record number of ballots counted not long after election day. We've got these 50 little laboratories of democracy, right? And, and when one state does something and proves that it's successful, then other states follow it. Buckeye state voters have closure. Voters in the battlegrounds of Wisconsin and Pennsylvania don't. Unlike Ohio, election rules there don't allow officials to process millions of mail-in ballots before election day. This was no surprise to any of them. I mean, candidly, Jocelyn Benson, the Michigan Secretary of State, and uh, Kathy Buck Buchfar, the, the Pennsylvania Secretary of State, have been saying all year, like really since the spring, we need to get permission to start processing absentee ballots early, or it's going to be the weekend after before we have results, and their state legislature just wasn't willing to budge on that. And so, you know, here we are. Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose doesn't favor a federal standard, but he wants other states to adopt the best practices of Ohio. And I think that a lot of states around the country are looking to Ohio right now to see how competent professional elections administration is done. Ohio hasn't been without its controversies. LaRose went to court to block efforts to add drop boxes and in-person voting locations, arguing that lawmakers, not elections officials, should have that decision. Now, he told me today he plans to campaign for both those things by working with lawmakers to get it done before the next election. Reporting from Cleveland, I'm Mark Namick, 3 News.